Anti-fouling, fairly obviously, is just a system designed to reduce fouling by animal and plant life on the underwater sections of a boat or a ship. Early solutions were to place copper sheaths on the hulls of ships. The Cutty Sark is a great example of this, and I'll link to the Greenwich Maritime Museum below if you want to see more about that. The primary purpose of the copper sheaths was actually to stop worms eating their way through old wooden hulls. A secondary benefit, though, was that the copper would reduce the growth of plant life. Of course, as wooden hulls were replaced by iron, worm issues did reduce, but they've never been eliminated. Just look at the leisure industry today and you'll still see plenty of wooden hulls around. And of course, regardless of its construction material, we still have the same old issue of drag caused by the growth of plant life. It's probably more important now to keep that under control, what with the cost of fuel and efficiency savings on long passages. We still need anti-fouling to stop a combination of worms, barnacles and weed from growing on the underside of hulls. But instead of using the old technique of copper sheaths, we now use a form of paint instead. That anti-fouling paint works on the same principle and actually still uses copper as a biocide though it's mostly cuprous oxides now mixed in with the paint rather than copper sheets. It's the natural red colour of those copper oxides that's led to the traditional red colour of anti-fouling. 